In this video, I will be going over immersive intelligence specifically focusing on ammunition production. This assembly line is divided into two parts which will give us explosive and incendiary type ammos which we will then test on this nice looking village here. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. The machines needed in order to make this assembly line is the metal press, filler, then we have the projectile workshop, this you will need multiple depending on what kind of ammunition you want to make, then the ammunition workshop and finally the packer. So we start with the very first thing which is the metal press and then leaving a three block gap from the metal press we are going to place filler. So the metal press and filler will make our casing and casings can be basically used over and over again. So right click with the hammer like this in order to form these machines and in between them place down a conveyor line like this. Next we'll place a very first projectile workshop and making sure that you have the crates facing you place down the projectile workshop like this. This workshop is the very first workshop and it will make our core bullets or the main bullets. Next we are going to place down two more projectile workshops but this time these both will basically fill material inside the bullet that we made in the first workshop. So we have total three projectile workshops, one for incendiary and one for explosive. The blue side is the input, the orange side is output, standard immersive engineering stuff. And now we are going to connect these workshops to the very first one using a conveyor line. So making sure that you place the conveyor in the proper way and in the very middle place down a splitter. So there goes a supply from the first workshop to the both of them and also in front of the metal press or basically before the metal press place down a chest with a conveyor ejector coming out of it so you can control the brass ingots that go into it. Next we will use the ammunition workshop. What the ammunition workshop will do is it will combine the casings and the bullet in order to give you your final bullet which you can place in the magazine. So we have two ammunition workshops here, one for explosives, one for incendiary. Now for this left one, I made the correct connections, but for this right one, I actually messed it up a little bit. So I will correct this around the seven minute mark. But yeah, for now, I just made straight up connections like this. So one line in the ammunition workshop, the left line is for the bullets and the right side or the right assembly line is for the casings. So we will divide the casing line into two parts using splitters and here also there is a slight mistake which yes I will correct as I told you before. After both of the um, ammunition workshops placed the final one is the packer. So the packer will be used to basically pack all of the bullets into a magazine. So with the redstone and the light engineering block at your side shift right click and then with the hammer click on the vertical conveyor and that will form the packer. Now with the packer you need to remember one thing that placing conveyors before and after it is pretty important. So here we have a conveyor line going into it. If you don't place a conveyor then there is no way that bullets will enter this packer. So there we need a conveyor here and we also need a conveyor belt right here so that the magazine can actually go in and it can be packed with bullets. Time to power all of this stuff up. So place your low voltage connectors on these following positions. And then we'll also need low voltage relay and a power source. So using the relays, I'm going to connect the first three machines, then have a creative power source and make the rest of the connections like that. You can do this based on how many basically fillers you are using or how many projectile workshops you are using basically. So there goes everything is now powered and yeah we are kind of ready to go. So place down a charging station and in the charging station make sure to charge up an electric wrench or the engineer's wrench. Now in the filler place down gunpowder. Now it can hold a lot of it so yeah just have enough gunpowder for your bullets and once the wrench is charged up then you can take it to the projectile workshop. 
Now the first projectile workshop is as it is. We need it in order to make the main bullets. But the other two, we need them to fill the bullets. So right click these projectile workshops with your engineer's wrench and then install the filler upgrade like this. And once it's done, now this workshop will insert fillers into the bullets instead of making the core. So do the same thing on this one as well. Right click, install, and then once again, right click with the wrench. So we now have two workshops in order to fill the bullets. For the first one, I'm going with white phosphorus powder, which will be our incendiary. And for the second one, I'm going with HMX, which is an explosive. Now you can see all of the different types of insertable materials available in the engineer's workbench. You can also change the amount which the cores or basically how much powder will go into a bullet but this will also depend on the core that you are using now in order to start our process the very first thing is i'm using submachine gun bullets or i'm going to make submachine gun bullets so place the submachine gun mold on the metal press and the metal press will start basically making some brass casings for you as the brass casings will go through the filler they will be filled with gunpowder which you can see by basically hovering your mouse over it. So if you have the mouse, it will say that it's filled with gunpowder now. So that's one step. Now for the core, I'm using uranium. You can use steel or you can also use lead. And there are total five materials here which you can use as core. For now, I'm going with uranium. And in here, select submachine gun bullet core. Now you can also select between armor piercing and soft point. I'm going with armor piercing. And as soon as you place down the uranium nuggets, it will be converted. Basically, two nuggets will be converted into submachine core. And they will be equally divided through the splitting conveyor belt. And when they will go through the projectile workshop, they will be filled with the incendiary powder, the phosphorus powder, and also with the HMS or the explosive powder. So this way, we will have two types of bullet, explosives and incendiary. All right, so now that we have completed the bullet production and the casing production, here is the correction that I was talking about. I have shifted the entire thing one forward. And for this right hand side machine, which we got wrong, I'm going to take a conveyor line, which will drop the casing on the right side of the conveyor belt. So basically the left side of the conveyor belt is for taking bullets and the right side of the conveyor belt is for taking the casings. If you mess it up, then the machine won't accept any casings. So yeah, that's that. And in order to see if it works perfectly or not, here, if we place some bullets, you will see that the bullets will enter the left side like this. Same goes for this direction. As you can see, the bullets go like this and yeah, they ended up in the correct spot. And now if we place the casings, total 64 because we have 64 bullets in total and if i flick the lever on you will see that the bullets will be divided equally sorry the casing will be divided equally and now they will end up in the proper place the casing will be combined with the bullet the entire process is pretty satisfying to watch and yeah they will travel through the conveyor line that we placed and they will end up in the packer where you can basically put them in a magazine. So yeah, as you can see, all of the bullets are coming into the packer. We have armor piercing high explosive bullets and also incendiary armor piercing bullets. So now using a separate packer, I want to show you something else. Basically the order in which you place the bullets are is important because this is the exact order in which the bullets are going to be filled inside the magazine. So if I take a drum magazine, and as you saw before, I have placed the bullets in alternating order, 16 uranium, 16 incendiary, and yeah, 16 explosive, 16 incendiary. And that is the exact order in which the bullets are in this magazine. So now if I load the submachine gun up and find some good villagers, there goes. So right now we have explosive type ammo and soon we will have incendiary ammo. Now, as soon as these bullets will basically deplete, once again, the cycle will change as soon as we enter the other 16 ammo. 
so i guess that is how it works so yeah that's how you can change the type of ammunition and even have pressure rounds in there for machine guns so as you can see we got the casings back and you can recycle these casings so what i would suggest is where the press ends and the filler starts place down a chest with an extracting conveyor belt and in this chest you can place down your casings so that they will go directly to the filler and then they will be stored in a chest where they can be used for future use or you can use more bullets so if you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and also let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below thanks for watching and peace out